Hello everyone, it's me once again. So uh, recently I funded this project called the Oz Air. So this is set up by the Australian brothers mainly for the purpose of their concern about these air pollution in well-known cities such as um, Beijing or Seoul, Korea, China, uh, and etc. And I was always concerned about the air pollution level in central London as well, where I commute every day. And um, I always wanted to get a proper mask and I just like the design, it, the way how it sticks out comparing to the conventional um, mask. I think it will give me more breathing air uh, space. It also has this sort of air filtering um, like feed of holes on each side. So I think that's going to look quite cool as well. I like the back color. I think that's going to look good on me as well. So it's like a fashionary item as well for me but obviously as you know um, there's this ongoing coronavirus thing going on as well so I just don't want to get that look because I'm already getting a lot of looks from the people in the public space where they're thinking oh is, is he the original spreader kind of thing <laughs> even though despite I'm actually from Korea you see but anyway um, I just look back for the past few years, the reason I was getting cold once or twice a year, almost every year, is the fact that on the way to work in the train during the flu time, I just couldn't prevent it because culturally in UK, um, my old colleague actually said that if you were to wear a mask for an Asian guy, it's like a typical Asian look, that's what he told me. And um, that's why despite I see a lot of people coughing in the, in the crowded train, I just couldn't wear it because I'm self-conscious about my look, you see. But I think from now on, especially this whole global pandemic going on, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to wear the mask. So I think it's going to become like a, a very fashionable thing in Europe as well. So I think it will be good. It will be worth um, investing on this wearable technology. So that's why I decided to look into this and fund this project called Oz Air, but I realized there are quite other like interesting products that are available online. And the one that I'm most impressed with is, is this thing called the AO Air. Um, I thought and I was told somewhere in my source that this is only 70 US dollars, but in fact that's the pre-order 20% deposit that I need to pay for ordering it. But in fact the overall cost is actually 350 US dollars. So the way how it seems to work is that the air feed comes from the back and then it actually transferred to the front and you get this sort of um, like a frame either in black or in white but you got this transparent glass front so people could actually read your expression but also it's going to look really cool as well so it's like a self-establishment saying to those who are actually wearing this boring cheap conventional mask whereas that hey i'm much trendier than you kind of thing so i thought it would be a nice fashionable trendy item to buy but unfortunately because of this environment that we're on for this global pandemic at the moment it's not available on the pre-order section so i'll have to probably wait for another three or months to be able to get one and review it for you guys so i'll keep an eye on this product but as an alternative i actually found this product called o202 mask it's almost transparent in the front but unfortunately the fin i would say that filters out the air on both sides of the end is um, quite bulky. It pretty much looks like a surgical mask rather than a um, like everyday mask kind of thing. So I'm not too keen on this one, but probably, I mean, we'll see how it goes, how, how well it function may be, I might buy this one. But the last one I just want to highlight is another not convincing I don't know where, where it's actually originally from, but it's a thing called Air Vida. It apparently filters out the air. So the way how it looks, it looks like a Bluetooth headset um, that I found somewhere that I used to own one very, very uh, old time ago. <laughs> but um, it seems to have this sort of thicker battery air feeding source and then it goes, it gets thinner in the front and somehow this these thin hose metal hose on the front seem to feed the fresh air to your nostrils, directly to your nostrils and so on. But I'm not really convinced on this product it's out of everything here. Rather, I think it's gonna help all the germs entering to my nostrils or my mouth when I breathe. So, but I just wanna highlight that I think just to for the point that I think from now on, human race are gonna more look into 
the wearable tech side. And I think there's, especially when I look at AO Air, uh, that I think is actually manufactured in China, um, designed as well in China or maybe somewhere else. But I think this is gonna be a trendy thing happening. So I just wanna give you guys a heads up on it. If you found anything more interesting on the, on the well, comparing to the ones that I highlighted here, please let me know. But I think um, we need to get one of these. <laughs> we really do. Uh, I think the conventional mask is, I think kind of it, it kind of protects, but it's not good enough. Especially, it's very, it's not comfortable when you wear it. So let's look into the alternative. And if you found anything more interesting, please let me know. And overall, thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. Have a nice day. All the best. Bye bye.